It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to a glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I've featured on this channel. So this week's tool is a tool that I use all the time. You've probably seen it all over the shop. Um, I actually did a video a long time ago where I included this tool, like a Friday video where I included this tool in it, but it wasn't, a dedicated video on this tool. So I figured I'd kind of revisit this one. I get a lot of questions about this one still to this day, and that is the Coleco. So if you've been watching the channel, you've probably seen these things used all over the Bibster, holding panels in, um, just, you know, all over the place. I use them everywhere. Matter of fact, I actually use these things as fasteners sometimes, uh, permanent fasteners. Uh, I've done it on the 64 C10 build I did, I used this thing as fasteners. I think it held the, I think it held the uh, overflow can in and stuff. I've also used these on the, the twin turbo build. Um, I had it holding the map sensor for a while. I've since changed a couple of things so it doesn't actually use these anymore. But it used to use these used to be the sole thing that held the map sensor on under the hood. So anyway, back to the tool, a Clico. What is a Clico? Well, Clico is designed to hold two pieces of sheet metal together through a hole. So how does this thing work? So basically, it's designed to hold two pieces of metal together through a hole. Uh, the hole size depends on the Clico size. So this is a uh, eighth inch hole, I believe, for these Clicos. So as long as you drill an eighth inch hole, this Clico will hold two pieces of metal together through that hole. Now, how does that work? So basically, the way it works, it's got a spring in here. You got a special pair of pliers. And when you squeeze that thing, it basically takes these two arms that have these little barbs on them and pushes them out. When it pushes them out, they come together, which makes them small enough to fit through that hole. Then when you release that spring, they spread back out. Those barbs actually grab onto the bottom side of that sheet metal and it squeezes it all together. I don't know if you can see. See those things are kind of holding on. The really nice thing about these is you can access panels really quickly. So as you're building something, you know, you can drill some holes where you would actually run some kind of bolt but for the, for the, in the beginning, you can just use an eighth inch hole. This thing will kind of hold those panels on the vehicle where you want them. And then that way it's easy to kind of pull on and off as you, as you fit the pieces or add pieces to it. And then when you're finally done with the part and you're ready to put it on there, now you have some eighth inch pilot holes that you can drill through for say a nut cert or, you know, a bolt, a nut and bolt. Um, but those pilot holes are there, they're already lined up, they're already pre-fit to the whole, the whole design. And you can then use those pilot holes to drill the hole that you need to actually mount the panel. So these things are really awesome. They make several different kinds. So you've got your standard Clico. Like I said, this is eighth inch. I believe they make it in some other sizes. They also make it in different grip lengths. So the length of, of which it grips the material can be also changed. Um, so this one can only do maybe, I don't know, maybe quarter inch. Can only grip maybe like a quarter inch piece of material. Um, but you can get them longer, shorter. And then they also make kind that are like side clamps. So you've got this version here. Basically the same premise though. It's got a spring in it. You use the same pliers. And as you squeeze this, these jaws spread apart. And then you can then clamp this onto something. 
and it's gonna hold those pieces together until you're ready to take it off. Really, if you do any kind of sheet metal work, these are a must have. Uh, I also find that these things come in handy other than just sheet metal work. Uh, you know, you're doing interior panels, you're doing, you're working with ABS, you're working with any kind of flat surfaces that you're trying to pre-fit that you'll end up screwing together at some point or riveting together at some point. These are, uh, these are a tool that you must have, the Coleco. The other thing that's cool is you can buy kits of these. It comes with like 25 Clecos and a Cleco, a set of Cleco pliers for like 25 bucks, I think. Uh, as I always do, I'll drop you some links in the description. You can go check these things out for yourself. If you ever find yourself needing to hold some panels together, you want to get into sheet metal work, the Cleco is a must have. All right guys, all I got for you this week, the Cleco, this week's tool. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. Yeah, next week. It's Friday, fool.